dogs are going to the garage for the first time ever. Both of them have never done it before. Janice is being more stressful for me. Right? She's, She's being so sneaky. Good morning, everybody. So we're doing that magical thing that I talked about before on my vlog in the past. Yeah, that was a mouthful and the dogs are playing. <gasps> Both dogs are going to the garage for the first time ever. Both of them have never done it before. So. I finally asked Jack. I was like, has Harlow ever been? Nope. Not professionally groomed just by me and that is not professional. So we are doing it. You know, that's a very sad thing. Is, it, is that sad? She looks good enough, but I want a professional. Yeah. For a trip. I think, you know, we do a very good job with them. But they're gonna look better. I bet the groomers are gonna look at them and be like, yeah. Well, because they're going to the groomer, we got good. lazy. Hey, this hey, way. hey, you got lazy. Dude, look at your dog. Look at his scruffy feet. They're scruffier than Harlow. I think his mane is. Oh, I love it. Because I look at Harlow and I'm like, I can't make she her she grow a mane. What do you want me to do? She doesn't have a mane, but then I look, at, Har uh, I look at Orion's mane. I'm like, oh my goodness. He got a mane. He Harlow has the butt fluff. In the she ain't got no butt fluff. Just She's got butt fluff. When I look at Harlow and then Orion, I'm just like. She's not as oh. floofy. Orion's like. <sighs> floofy? Yeah. Is she, it's a she, word for dogs. No, that floofy. is not. Floofy? Fuffleupolis. Okay, so Har Harlow is just like a girl, just, you know, cute. But then Orion's just like a guy, just boof. <laughs> he's got the hair. Yeah, he's just, he's scruffy. So they're going to look at that and be like, what happened to your dog? <laughs> so, let's go to the groomers. I'm super excited to say we're about to leave for our trip. How many days, Jackie? T minus one day. What? I'm super excited. We are here at the groomers and these pups are ready. Are they ready, Jackie? <coughs> yep. I, I really like your outfit. It's very Thanks. pink. It just pops out. She pink was making fun of my outfit yesterday. I was. Hot pink. <laughs> Y'all look very cute. We'll be back. <laughs> so, Paul is back. Well, he, he left for a little bit. To get a haircut. Just mm -hmm. to get his hair grown. See, I got my hair done did, and he got his hair done did. It looks really nice. Thank you. I like it. It's very nice and silky. You're looking gorgeous. Thank you. So, I think me being here in the groomers, it's more tension for me because I'm like what are they doing to my old man my poor baby you can go watch him so let's go check him out you come in with me yeah Harlow's just over there chilling let's go there goes our Harlow there's here's happy hippo you're the boss of shame pretty much she's in the she playground she could probably jump over this to be honest mm -hmm. I mean let's be honest Hippo? She's like, give me the love. Okay, let's go see Orion. <laughs> and then there goes Orion, my baby. Oh, they're doing his nails. Look at him being a champ. Look at all the hair they're removing. That's a lot of hair. And this is all for our trip. Oh, he's doing such a good job. Oh, he's getting so much love. Hmm, yeah. Harlow's not having any of this. She's in the box of shame. <laughs> <laughs> they could put her in there and she'd be next to Ryan. Now Harlow is up. Harlow is a little unsure about this. Yeah, because she thought she was going to fall off the table because she was like, whoa. whoa. But well, you could see like, a little bit of a difference. Orion was just like, yeah, this is fun. I'm getting some loving. And then now Harlow and Harlow's like, her face changed. Yeah. She was, got real serious real quick. But she's letting the groomer do what she needs to do. She's not fighting it. <laughs> she's giving the groomer kisses every now and then. Like weird kisses. Like, like uh, lick. I'm done. Yeah. Let's, we're done with this. Just get Grooming me off. It can be hard for dogs because the whole place smells like fear and it's a new experience. But as long as she's behaving, I'm proud of her. I don't need her to absolutely love this. Or bite the groomer. <laughs> they won't bite the groomer. Maybe they're, no. They're tra they're trained. They're golden. They're they're loved. Well, I mean, there is like exceptions to every breed. The 
groomer did come out here she said that orion's hair was gorgeous and then that some golden handlers do shave their goldens and i was like you're not really they're double coated you're not yeah technically supposed to shave a double coated dog unless it's for medical reasons yeah and i've never shaved orion i've never shaved arlo yeah so he's got orion's getting dried right now yes i'm excited to see my puff puff my old rye rye so let's see his final look oh orion is here and you did such a good job. Look how beautiful he looks and how groomed. Good boy. And his new bandana. Yes. Brown is a gorgeous color on him. It just makes him pop. Good boy. Yes. You should do it. He's so soft and smells delicious. And he is looking good and trimmed. Perfect. Right? Stand stay. Look at that. Look at that. His ears are nicely cut and gorgeous. And his Paws are on fleek, right, buddy? <laughs> you are on fleek. You're on fleek, oh, right, right. Yes, you are. Good boy. Now it's time to see Harlow and how beautiful she looks. She's probably going to come out all decked out in pink with her bandana. So. Of right, course. Buddy? And Orion is waiting to play with Hippo. They're going to destroy all the hard work the groomers did. Right, bud? Uh-uh. Leave it. Look at Harlow. Hello. Look at that cute little bow. She is just adorable and she is on point. She's not on fleek, on point because she's classy. She's a classy girl. Hip, I'm sorry, that bow is just cute on her. Oh, look at that. How did they get it in there? Mm -hmm. All right. And her trim and cut is just cute. <laughs> right? Oh. So um, these two dogs, Orion's hyper and happy to be here. Harlow is pretty stressed, but now she's calm and she's just like, let's get out of here. This place is too much for me. It's giving me an anxiety. So, and I'm just pretty tired and exhausted. So everybody's full of different emotions right now. <laughs> Look at this one. I love this place. So we have made it back home safe and sound. This grooming adventure did wear me out, but I did hook up to my infusion and I'm going to take it easy for a while. As you guys can recall, I did a celiac artery ultrasound. If you guys want to check out that vlog, it will be right here in the corner. And that was to check for mouths. And I remember your comments. You guys were just like you are procrastinating on eating that sandwich because I was talking my head off. I was like, nope, don't want to eat it. But we did get the results for that test back. But um, the velocity for after I ate the sandwich was pretty high. So my doctor decided that it's time to do more testing to see if I have mouths. So we are going to be doing more testing. So today we are doing an MRA and it's going to be IV contrast of the abdominal area, so for mouths. And I also need a celiac plexus block, which is a type of nerve block, and I do have an appointment with a doctor for that. But, of course, I will be doing that after this wonderful trip. So we are on our way to get my scans done. We have registered and Let's just get this done. I'm really exhausted and tired, so how are you feeling? I am kind of excited, nervous, antsy because of our trip tomorrow. i got to get everything ready, everything organized, so... Yeah. He hasn't um, started packing, but like I said in yesterday's vlog, all he has to do is snap his fingers and he's done. Pretty much. You know, guys, we, we pack in like three minutes as she's closing the suitcase. Yeah. So, in the waiting area, they have... Simba's Pride, The Lion King 2. So uh, I found something out today. Janice does not like The Lion King. Any of their movies. No, I don't like The Lion King. That's stupid. You're so weird though. Come on, how do you not like The Lion King? I don't like The Lion King movies or Lilo and Stitch. I, under Sorry, I understand Lilo and Stitch. The big, the little weird blue thing that jumps around and eats things, that, that's kind of just weird. 
Janice is currently filling out some paperwork and we're here in the waiting area of the imaging department. And uh... And they're torturing with this movie. With Lion King! Yes! Yes! <laughs> she doesn't let me write anything for her because my handwriting's bad. Right, babe? Because I can be like, babe, it's okay, let me just fill it out for you real quick. Nope, she won't let me. But this is what I do. And when it comes down to my paperwork, whenever I go to the doctor's office, I let her do it because I'm like, here, because you're just going to make fun of me and my handwriting. So, I love her though. She just cares. She just wants it to be legible, which, I'm not going to lie, my handwriting is pretty bad. Um, when I was 10, I broke my right arm and I had to learn how to write twice in my life. And the second time, I just, I just cut corners like there's no tomorrow. So, so now I'm here. I got my... Uh, Phone with my headphones. I'm gonna be watching some uh, Diesel Brothers. If anybody who knows that show, I love it. I'm gonna have her backpack, all my, all her stuff here with me, and uh, she's uh, off doing the MRI. So uh, now we're gonna wait patiently here. My MRA was very successful, and I'm so proud. Usually, I can't do MRAs because the sound, the noises, are a little bit too much for me. And it's because of my hyperacusis. Now, what is hyperacusis? Hyperacusis is when you can't stand certain sounds, pitches, and frequencies. And somebody like me, MRAs, we don't get along very well. Usually whenever I have an MRA scheduled, I have to be sedated for it. So I did tell the tech, I am so sorry. I really can't stand certain sounds. And this machine, Mm -mm. So she was very understanding. She did get me earplugs and on top of it, she got me some bulky headphones that played music. It did help a little bit, but not as much as you think. All that matters is the thought and I was like, thank you so much. And I pushed through. I was like, I have to get this test done. So I got it done and that's all that matters. But I am a little worn out, so it's time to go home. And I got some more packing done. I'm so proud. And Jackie helped me. It looks fabulous. Yes. Thank you, Jack Jack. No problem, Jam Jam. Oh, our nicknames, our pet names. Well, guys, today was a pretty busy day. And lots of stuff to get done for our trip. Yeah. And Janice had her imaging. Yes. I still have a lot of things to do. And. My lovely husband still hasn't packed, so that still has me worried. Oh my gosh, I bet Judd hasn't packed either. Though Judd packs in like 30 seconds. Paula does too, but I don't know. I just this am trip feeling is overwhelmed. Like, I feel you. I'm even putting in more supplies to my carry-on. I added more saline and I was like, do I have enough? <laughs> but we're leaving late tomorrow, so we still have time. Yep. I just feel like I'm going to forget something and I'm going to be like, ah, I'm going to forget Orion. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm going no, to forget. they're groomed. They look too beautiful to forget. That is true. So, well, I just have small little things to do left and I who knows how I'm going to resolve it. So guys, adieu and good night.